Oh, hello, scrappers. I want to wish everybody a happy Thanksgiving. This is Thanksgiving morning. A little after 11 right now. Been sitting around drinking coffee on YouTube, watching a few videos and answering a few questions. A little cool here in Oklahoma this morning. It's in the 40s, so it's not bad. I've got my new little heater going here, kind of blowing towards me. I don't plan on heating the whole shop, just kind of throwing some air, you know, warm air, but, you know, cooling the air, or warming the air right there where I'm at. I got a garbage disposal. I think someone asked a while back for me to do a video on one. I've had this sitting around for a while, and I don't think I've actually ever done one. Sink guard brand. So. Anyway, go ahead and get started. I hear the dog barking. Let me take a quick peek. Open the door, the cold wind blows in. Pretty windy out there today. I want to try to get out there a little later. Got a bunch of sheep in I need to load up. I'm not sure how that's going to go in the wind. Probably, probably not too well. Just a little piece on the back. I need to flip that monitor over so I can see it. I got a about a 12 inch monitor I ordered off Amazon coming in. Uh, one thing I noticed too on this, this part here, magnet sticks, but not here or here. So this is either plastic or aluminum, I figure. bits out here. Got one over there on the magnet. I bet I got a Pliers. So I can hold the hold the nut. Okay. Hope everybody's having a happy Thanksgiving. Getting plenty to eat. I know some of you probably haven't eaten yet. I haven't. So waiting for people to get here. So I told my wife I'm going to run out here to the shop and do a quick video. This shouldn't take long. Shouldn't, but that doesn't mean it won't. I've had some stuff I thought, well, I can knock that out real quick and then run into complications. Probably try to do one here soon. Plasma cutter cutting down one of these big compressors. Okay, the bolts are out. <coughs> I do have a couple Phillips there. I'm not sure if I can get into it with the this thing or not. I'll put the Phillips head back on there or get back in it and we'll give it a, a try. I don't remember if I did a video of that big stripping vat I brought in here a few months ago. I used it to strip the, fit, the varnish and stuff off of the furniture. Nice bit of copper. I wasn't expecting that much. Hopefully it's copper. Okay, I'm going to hit, so we've got metal here, metal, this may be plastic, I'm going to just hit the cord reach, probably won't, yeah, it's close, yeah, that's
Yep, my little four inch grinder. Yeah, this is just plastic. Yeah. Guess I'll show you. Just black plastic kind of melted. And this one is too, but I got a lot of metal here, so that can go into shred like it is. So I'll set that aside. I'll throw that out there later today. I don't think, it doesn't really look like this bottom comes apart. Looks like it's one piece and this is pressed in. So, I don't have much cutting disc left on this thing. pieces. Alright. That's interesting. It's only in the 40s, but it is got a little nip to the air out here. Not sure if I'm ready for the 30s and the 20s. Sometimes down in the teens. I'll just have to make sure I do my videos while the weather's warmer. That way I don't have to come out here in that cold. Or get the other room set up. I've got a furnace in there. Been kind of debating on whether to. Uh, insulate it, maybe put a wall up in there to kind of make it about half of what it is. So I might do that after I get the addition built, 20 by 30 addition out there. So I want a nice place I can bring mowers in and work on them. This here works great for uh, kind of a studio, you could say I guess, for this time, or for summertime, because I have a shade tree right over this. So it stays fairly cool and I got the doors to the north and south so the you know south wind can blow through here good. So this makes a great studio for summertime and it's easy to work at, you know, set up pretty good. But uh, in there I got a smaller workbench but I could move stuff around, especially if I get that other deal built. I can uh, probably move some stuff out of there, put a wall up in there and I, I got the furnace. The furnace is pretty pretty noisy but what I would do I'd just run the furnace get it heated up in there and then I gotta I run this heater here I'm not sure how much noise that the mic is picking up on this heater I'll find out when I go to edit the video I guess what little editing I do so we may have some silver in the contacts here for those that do micro scrapping if not, we do have probably a little brass. So, looks like all we're going to do is push these tabs in. Push it in and break it off. And one thing I want to find out real quick, is that copper or is it aluminum? We've got copper. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh, about it for <laughs> garbage disposal. So hey, if you see any of those laying around, probably will be worth grabbing. Now you never know; some brands might be aluminum windings. Hopefully not. But I think when copper gets real high, then a lot of companies start going to aluminum, <coughs> and a lot of times. These little electrical connectors, since sometimes I'll put electrical plugs, I might get an extension cord, or even like this, if I needed to make a small cord, I can take an electrical box, put this in there, hook it up to a receptacle, you know, and have a 
which in a way I wouldn't mind, probably wouldn't be a bad idea to get a longer one of these, maybe off a vacuum, and put a little box right here on the cabinet somewhere, a little electrical box where I can just plug in there and I don't have to drape cords across the room. Might be a later, little project for later. And uh, for those that watched the video on the plasma cutter, ground clamp, as you can see, is pretty short. It's just you know twice what this little toolbox is, or a little workbench. <coughs> but uh, one of my subscribers said, uh, get, an, get an old heavy-duty extension cord, which this cord here is pretty thin. You, can, you know, see compared to my fingers. So it's not real heavy-duty. So one by 16 millimeter. It's got the little clamp here. You can buy these uh, copper ends at the auto parts store. So I'm thinking, okay, I got several cheap pairs of jumper cables around here, and that's what he mentioned was using jumper cables. And I can, you know, you put the ends on and crimp them on, or hit it with a hammer, flatten it out, and I can bolt two of those together. And then uh, probably make this, you know, clamp uh, 10, 50, 10, 12 feet longer. So that might be something I do here real shortly, next week or two. The one thing I take a lot of my lawnmower batteries to O'Reilly's. I'm not sure if AutoZone has the same program, but you can take take them to O'Reilly's and get $10 store credit. Well. A riding mower battery, for what it weighs, will only bring about about 350, 375, something like that, at the scrapyard. So why not just go ahead and take it to AutoZone or O'Reilly's and get a $10 store credit? There's always something you can use there, you know, Viper blades or something. So I thought, why not? You know. So. I'll throw that in there. Uh, I want to remind everybody about my Amazon affiliate page. So if there's tools, which I, my plasma cutter, like I said, I, I put it on there. Uh, my cutting discs are on there. Several other you know, odds and ends that we, you know, come in handy for scrapping. And uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. I'll be cutting that down shortly. I got a few others to cut down. Give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Share it on groups. Uh, and uh, if you're not a subscriber, I kind of cut my head off there, didn't I? I'm trying to raise it up where I could get in the shot a little bit. If you're not a subscriber, I appreciate it if you subscribe. Uh, go ahead and take a look around the channel and see what you think. Uh, I've got a lot of uh, different type of videos. Go ahead and you know take a look at the playlist area, and you know gives you kind of a general idea of uh, what this site's all about. I got an old intro. I need to make a new one, but I'm kind of constantly growing. I'm fixing to retire here in a few months, and when I do, I'll have more time to dedicate to scrapping and making videos and uh, sharing the ideas that. Uh, my uh, subscribers give to me and ideas that I come up with. So, trying to make it a little bit, scrapping a little bit easier, a little funner. You know, take a little bit of the, the hard work out of it. You know, I always say scrapping's a lot of work for a little bit of money. But for the most part, I'm a hobby scrapper. Uh, you know, I'm not doing it for a living. I have a full time job right now. Like I said, I'm fixing to retire here shortly. And uh, then I'll be. Show. I'm drawing Social Security, so uh, the scrapping will supplement my income, but it won't be the main part of the income. But uh, it all helps. It all adds up. So, And I enjoy doing it. I enjoy getting out here in the shop. I enjoy making the videos. And uh, so you guys all have a happy Thanksgiving. Don't eat too much. You know, <laughs> don't eat so much where you get hurting. You know. Eat your fill, then come back later and eat some more if it's not all gone. 
So you guys take care, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.